disclaimer, you're going to be hearing the following words repeated throughout the video. Sturdy. Smooth. Cool. So, the Commandante grinder just arrived guys and I'm going to be doing an unboxing. Thank you especially Turkish Coffee. Let's see what this is all about. Designed by and handmade for specialty coffee experts. Made in Germany. Awesome. So I ended up going with the cherry. Cool. And here. So you get two jars. You get a black one. You get a clear one. Wow. It's very dusty. I wonder how long it's been sitting there for. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but this feels really well made, the handle. Wow. So I got the American cherry. I thought it looked the best. Oof. Wow, there's some weight to this. It feels really sturdy. Man, it feels super well made, it feels sturdy. I just don't see this ever breaking if you were to drop it. Look at the inside. Here's how you dial in. Super smooth. I'm gonna have to play around with this later to see what my pour over dial in is gonna look like. Feels really smooth. Effortless. Let me attach the clear one. So, oh, I'm sorry. I had it backwards there. Cool. Wow, this, if the glass feels really strong, but definitely would feel like it could possibly break if you were to drop it. But I don't think a regular fall would actually break this. This feels really well made and sturdy as well, the glass. Um, this is actually made out of glass as well. Which I don't know if I'm too happy about that. So essentially, you should put it up there. You should start grinding away. Wow. I mean, I can tell you just from handling this, it feels really, really sturdy and well made, and it feels really smooth. I feel like grinding the beans is going to be really easy. So this is what it looks like with the clear jar. Now, how do we remove this? Oh wow. So I might have to clean this. But wow, it feels super well made, definitely into it. It feels sturdy, it feels strong. It feels like it will last a lifetime, honestly. And to remove this, it's actually not, you have to really like pull on it. Um, so it doesn't just come off. Look, as you can see, you actually have to pull. That's pretty good. Um, this handle feels really good as well. I want to show you guys what the black jar looks like. I'm still not sure which one I'm going to use, the black or the clear one. The clear one is going to show the beans, 
but I feel like it, was, it is gonna get noticeably dirtier as well. With this one, you know, it looks really, really nice as well. And, um, but you won't be able to see like your coffee grounds. It's not really that clear, but this looks really nice too. I love that they included two of them. Um, damn, it feels super. I just didn't think it was gonna be, it was gonna weigh this much. I almost wanna see how much it weighs, honestly. Let's see how much it weighs. So the whole, I'm just gonna weigh it as a whole since this is how people usually are gonna be using it. So 620 grams, let's turn that into pounds. So 1.37 pounds. So there is some weight to it. Man, it feels good though. I really like that it that it has that weight. It makes you feel like you know it's high quality, um, super smooth. I want to grind 30 grams of beans. It's usually that's what I'm. That's what I usually use. But I'm gonna do it on the clear one. Big difference. Porlex grinder and this Commandante man. This thing took forever to grind 30 grams. This just looks so beautiful. It looks well made. Oh man, it's super sexy. Let's see how hard it is to grind 30 grams on this one. Let me weigh my beans first. I already wanted to get my hands on the grinder. There you go, 30 grams of beans. So I've never dialed in, I've never done anything. So I'm not even sure how this works. Oops. So I have my 30 grams of beans in there. I should probably dust this off, but I'm just so excited to try this out already. Um, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to dial this. Probably should have done this first. Since I'm not sure, um, so this is, uh, okay. Hmm, how do I know how much? Okay, so there's a little illustration here. Shows um, a lot finer to the right, a lot more coarse to the left. I wonder where my starting point is. I don't know which what to dial into. Uh, I'm not sure what's recommended for the Commandante when I want to do a pour over. So I want to see what the recommended dialing is. And then I can kind of, you know, tweak it from there once I have an idea. So I'm going to be right back. I get that. Okay. All right, guys, I'm back. Okay, I was able to watch a Commandante YouTube video on how to do it. I've emptied out my coffee beans. I don't want to focus on that right now. Right now, I want to dial this into zero so I can have a starting point. So I'm going to do that right now. And as you can see, right now the handle is loose and I'm going to dial this into zero. The, the one way we're going to be able to know that we're dialed in at zero, this is going to get really hard and it's going to stay in place and not be falling over anymore. And so let's do that right now. Uh, so we're almost there. Okay, if you can tell us, okay, there you go. So we're dialing at zero now. And for the V60, it's gonna be 25 clicks. Uh, so the way you do that, you don't want to go one by one. It's going to take a really long time. Um, so you're going to put your finger down here so this doesn't move. And essentially, you're going to rotate this two times and then once. One, two, and then one. That's 25. And now it got loose. And then now we at least have a starting point. Um, so I'm going to put this back in here. Put my 30 grams of beans. And I'm gonna 
grind the 30 grams. See how easy or how hard it is. Wow. Guys, I wish I could let you know how easy this is, how seamless. It's literally taking no effort. Super smooth to grind. Oh man. There's a huge difference from my poor legs. I love the handle, it feels really sturdy. Feels like I have enough of a grip. I'm honestly putting no effort into this really. My hand's not getting tired at all. 30 grams is nothing now. So this is how long 30 grams takes. Just get an idea. It's probably been like 20 seconds, close to 30 seconds. And that's it. We're done. Let me see what that looks like. 30 grams at 25 clicks. So I'm gonna brew this and see what the results are like. Oh God, look at all that. Hey guys, so right now I'm setting up uh, for my V60 pour over. Let's get this going. So I usually wait about 45 seconds. I let it kind of uh, bloom for 45 seconds. So I'm at about 45, now I'm gonna start pouring again. And I usually do a continuous pour. Um, I do stop at about 300 grams of water to kind of just kind of swirl it around and make sure all the coffee is being evenly extracted. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna continue to pour now because I want it to remain hot. Once I'm at 500 grams, I'm gonna get a spoon and kind of scrape off the sides. Make sure we get all the beans and make sure my coffee bed is evenly distributed. So I'm about to be at 500, I'm at 500 now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrape. Do a little spoon. Get all the coffee on the side and I'm gonna do one more swirl. All right. So it took about three minutes. Cool. All right guys, so here's the end result. 500 grams of water, 30 grams of beans. Uh, it's a lighter roast, so I am using the street level, which has um, flavor notes of red apple, marmalade, and molasses. Cool, let's give this a shot. I have my cup right here, Verve cup. Big Verve fan. Um, let's pour some of that coffee. See what this tastes like, guys. 